Hello everyone. In today's video I want to show you how we can convert harmless salts or harmless free base to the mix of harmaline and tetrahydroharmine. Please, be advised, that this video strictly for education purpose, harm reduction, and not an instruction to actions. Tetrahydroharmine is naturally occur alkaloid in Banisteriosize copiliana, THH plays a significant role in ancient ayahuasca brew. Please, pay attention, THH is not MAOI, and it can fool you that you can abuse it or use it unwisely, messing up with nature never ends well. THH is strong SRI, serotonin reuptake inhibitor, if overdose take place so called serotonin syndrome can occur, if you on medication, check possible interaction, every possible precaution should be taken in consideration, one overdose can be fatal. Unfortunately, price of this plant is quite high, but there is a relatively easy way to convert harmine to THH out of the mix of your alkaloids. Before we start, I want to show you quite cool thing. We saw that solution of harmala alkaloids is fluorescent, but hydrochloride salt glows under UV as well, on the screen you can see, in the test tube is our salt and in a small vial is free base. Enough with intro, let's start. The following procedure is quite simple. We need to prepare 8 to 10% acetic solution, in my case out of distilled water and glacial acetic acid, you can use hydrochloric acid as well. After acidic solution prepared, we need to add harmala to it, at this point I turned on black light to be able to see how it will glow under UV, to be honest this is mesmerizing. At this point it is not necessary to heat up the solution, as all hydrochloride salts are very soluble in water. After everything dissolve, we need to add zinc metal. Note. At this point you need to add pure zinc powder, not zinc oxide, and not zinc chunks, beads, or pellets, at this point we need to have the biggest possible surface area of zinc, which only powder can give us. I do have access to some analytical chemicals, but I tried to find another way how to easily obtain pure zinc powder, and found that quite a lot of shops specialized in magnets has it on shelves. After addition of zinc powder reduction of harmine starts almost immediately and solution change its color from yellowy orange to pale green, under UV THH glows more bluish, than harmala alkaloids, I took two shots and place it side by side to see the difference. At this point you need to leave the solution under strong stirring for 3 up to 4 hours, it is enough time to convert all harmine to THH. When the full conversion takes place, you can proceed with filtration. At this point use only cotton balls or cotton pads as filters, do not use coffee filters, as zinc powder is way too fine for coffee filter and a lot will pass through it, believe me your body will not thank you for an excess of zinc especially in form of powder. When you finish with filtration you can basify your filtrate with 5-10% to of ammonia solution, try to not overshoot pH more than 9.8. When harmaline and THH free base precipitate out, wait until it settles, slowly decant, or siphon out excess of aqueous layer and filter out your precipitate, at this point 3 to 4 washing with 3 to 5% of ammonia solution is necessary, to make sure that you wash out almost everything but alkaloids. In the end you should obtain slightly pale solid of reasonable pure mix of harmaline and THH. Be safe, be smart, your future may depend on it. Thank you and have a safe and productive day.